This is the fire. Bye, Betty. Um, praise it. What? What? The all the honey do it. like an old um, it's called old town or old city and you can see everything is made of this like clay material oh my god this is so beautiful wow that is a mosque that we're going to this is my mom shopping her life away Listen, you guys, Persian architecture is the most incredible <laughs> architecture ever. So beautiful, so detailed. Oh my God. Such a good feeling just like looking at this kind of architecture. Holy sh Oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Big doors, wow. Wow, that's, that's amazing, you guys. Wow. So, so amazing. I want a freaking big door like that. I wanna show you guys. You can't even like tell. It's huge, it's huge. This door is huge. I don't even reach the handle. The handle's up there. Anyway, <laughs> who's that door for, guys? Oh, shoot, I'm not wearing them. Okay. So you enter, there's this little outdoor area, and then this is the actual mosque where people go to pray and just be with God for a second and just relax. I love any kind of church or mosque, not because I'm religious, but because just such a good feeling in this place that people gather to like be with God. I think it's just the best thing. These are for people to pray, people that can't sit on the floor. Taking a picture. These are Qurans that you can take to pray with. They're taking a selfie. Cute. in dog beautiful love this, this mosque okay so yes is a really important place for Zoroastrianism I really recommend you Google Zoroastrianism Basically, it's a religion that focuses on the duality of good and evil. I love the religion a lot because it's just a really realistic religion and it's like everything about Zoroastrianism just makes sense. It's, it's all about karma, it's all about being a good person. And so this is the first Zoroastrian site that we are at. It is a fire temple. There's only eight of these in the world and seven of them are actually in India. And this is only one, um, there's only one in Iran and it's this one. And this is actually like the most important one because it is in Yaz, which is like I've been saying, like a center for Zoroastrian like stuff. This is basically where the religion was born. Not here at this fire temple, but here in Yaz. So that's why um, Zoroastrian 
Rationism is so huge here. I love the Rationism, that's why I'm here, to see all these sights and to feel that feeling. Are you guys ready? We're ready. All right, let's go. So this is the fire temple. It, Migama, as she said, she said AD in Johast, in Atisha. She said AD, I don't know if she said AD. No, she said AD. She said AD. She said AD. She was a public <laughs> Just so you guys know. But in Migeke, this is talking about how what each part of the Faravar means. And I love it. That's why I got this tattooed because every single part of it has like a really awesome meaning. Oh, this one's English. So this is the English one. I, I recommend reading this if you can. You can see like the old man head means something. It means wisdom. The hand up to God means something. Like every single part of it means something. And I just think that's so cool. I'm so excited. This is the fire. Bye, Betty. Um, praise us. What? Bye, do all the honey dollars. We should be in jello. Jello. Now we should be in pishesh. I think that's it. What? I want to see it. Ha! I karami kana. they would dress this is what they would eat oh this is like aid these are modern day Zoroastrians so this is talking about a guy named Zara or something and he was basically a messenger who spent 10 years um, in a mountain <laughs> and then Ahura came to him and because of him Zoroastrianism spread all over Iran for a while until the Arabs invaded and Islam came <laughs> so these are the books they're kind of like the religious books, like the Quran, Bible, Torah kind of things of Zoroastrianism. And then up here it says exactly which, uh, what the books each mean. And each book is like a different lesson in life and stuff like that. I love it. This is explaining their marriage rituals. And I really like it because it's really based on the love of the people and then the priest gives advice to the couple. Another thing I love about this religion is they were so mindful about the environment. Like it's it's a part of their religion to like keep the environment clean. And this is like back, back, way back in the beginnings of time when the world wasn't even dirty. So that just shows you that they were fucking wise. Wise mother Okay. And this is showing different Zoroastrian um, monuments and people and just all the beautiful pictures. houses where you would come downstairs and store all of your food water oils all that stuff downstairs because it's cooler down there and then you would store them in these clay things and they would literally never go bad well not never but barely and this is how um, the rooms used to look back there back then basically a big empty room people would sleep here sit here um, and there's like shelves cute Kind of like the old houses, how they would come downstairs. It's a lot cooler down no, here. This is like the tank of the. I don't know what a tank of the stream is. Stream. Oh. Oh. 
Interesting. Oh, look at this. This is where the water would get collected. It says from the valve above, water enters the tank. And then the bricks on the wall are used as stairs. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please subscribe for more Euron videos and like this video if you liked it. You can check out a playlist of more Euron videos right here and I will see you in the next one.